hello so today i'll show you this new creation of mine which is quite unbelievable so here is just a serial a serial display which if you have seen my previous videos is just something like this so you make something over here and it gets displayed over here on a single redstone line and then i made this addressing system which means I can send data to any one of these without affecting the other modules so in this this time I have combined both of these builds to make this monstrosity and it's it's I still can't believe I built this so what exactly you have to do first thing you have to do is lock the device then you have to check the address so for example the address of this one is one triple zero so let me just do that so redstone lamp on means one and off means zero so we got one triple zero as our address so now if we unlock and click this whatever is on this transmitter should end up on the receiver so let's just see okay so here we got the exactly same thing you can see the corner pixels are on so that's not a glitch i have kept the corner pixels on so let's just turn off the pixels at the corner and now this time let's try it with a different address so let's see this address at the back what is the address one one double zero so it's double one double zero so our device is locked and we should type the address double one double zero and then if we unlock and i have made changes in three pixels so it should have all those three changes okay as you can see this time we don't have the three corner pixels which we had in this one so now let's try another address so let's just try this one it's one double zero one so we go like one double zero one and let's let's make something different this time so let's just I don't know what to do let's just fill this let's just do something because I, I, my brain isn't working right now so I, I did something over here I don't know what but I did something and then I should transfer the data and it should all okay okay i'm quite sure that it's the same thing that we did over here yeah it's the same so what exactly it does and how it does it function that would be a pretty obvious question this time i would honestly last two builds i could say that those are easy you can easily learn them this one is a little bit tricky so first we got we cloned the exact uh, serial display over here so once we clone the display we added this addressing module in this so what does the addressing system does is when we click this button this observer fires and power this redstone line the repeater line which gets detected by these observers sending serial data and what this comparator does is only if this block gets powered this comparator will send a signal otherwise it won't the signal will then further power this serial data line of the display and at the same time the data which has been the serial data that's output output it will travel through this line and the data of this addressing system will merge into this line right over here and first so it's all just one single line 
So first the redstone signal which is the addressing signal the addressing bits the four addressing bits will travel into this system which is the address detector or the address lock or something I don't know I haven't named this thing yet but whatever it is it, it basically detects the address so what happens when the first four address bits enter the signal would get split into so the same address bits will travel into this at the same time the four address bits will travel into this system and as soon as the first bit reaches over here the system will get logged locking all the address bits over here and then we got a little combination lock so this combination lock detects if the address is correct if the address is correct this combination lock will power off this redstone line powering off this piston pulling this block f uh, back so this is like a combination lock door but this door isn't for a player or mob this door is for data so if the combination is right if the address is right the combination lock will open the door the door that allows data to flow so once the data starts flowing it will go up over here just like my previous system and then it will get yeah you know detected just like I showed you in my previous video the same function after that the function is absolutely the same so the only thing that I added to this is this address detecting circuit and this address encoding circuit so these two little additions uh, give me the ability to use data on multiple displays and the great thing is I'm currently using nine displays because I don't want any of the display to get out of my render distance and basically not function so I'm just using nine displays, but using this four bit, um, using this four bit addressing system, you can have up to 15 displays. And if I use the eight bit addressing system that I used in this build of mine, which is right over here, if I use the addressing system that I used over here, I can make 255 controllable displays like this. And imagine if I compact these displays just enough and we stack these displays one upon another, one upon another, how, how huge display we can get. Just, just imagine the size, 255 displays stacked right on next to each other. That would be, um, I did the, that would be 16,000 plus pixels 16,300 plus pixels which is completely insane and I can I can uh, say that I will absolutely try to do something like that but not so soon because I don't think I mean I, I never thought I could build this if, if someone told me a few months ago that I will build this I would never believe them but here I am <laughs> with this absolutely crazy thing. So you, you, can, you can never trust what you can do. But I, I can say that I will absolutely try to make something even more crazier. So let, let's let the time decide if, if that will be possible for me to do. But for now this is absolutely insane and i will mention a world download in my description if you want to mess around i'm pretty sure everyone wants to mess around with this thing because this is just insane i don't know if anyone has done this at least on bedrock edition yet and uh, i have connected each display individually but you can just run a single redstone line uh, you can just run a single redstone line no need to split the lines but this just makes the system ever so slightly faster just few ticks faster so and it, it creates uh, I guess less lag so I prefer this but you can do whatever you want and other than that this this is absolutely crazy this is insane I, I absolutely love this 
so let me know if you want if you like such content just comment down if if you like this and if you have any suggestions and any ideas any challenge anything that so yeah if you have any ideas challenge suggestion you can just comment them down and i will try to build them and uh, you can join my discord server so i can explain you things over there because explaining things in a video is kind of difficult because i don't know if people understand some things and they don't understand other thing in discord you can interact with me so i will be I, I can explain you in a better way so everyone needs a different explanation so it would be a lot easier on discord so if you want to learn how these things function and how to build them how to design them just join the discord server it, it, it is currently a lot empty but that doesn't matter as long as you want to learn because I will I will interact I will interact with you and so world download will be in the uh, description you can try this um, build out and uh, I have mentioned the addresses to each display over here so you have to just go over there and make sure you lock this system first because if you don't uh, it will need a cooldown before you can send data so make sure you lock this and then type in your address and then like this and send the data and he, over here I have only built 9 displays but you can make 15 using this system so you can try cloning one of the displays and create your own address or you can change address of an existing display all you have to do is just replace the torch the position of the torch and uh, where there is no torch just place the glass in this formation and there you will have a brand new address so yeah that's it for today i guess and make sure you subscribe because i i'll i'll keep try my best to keep making this type of contraptions i absolutely enjoy this and yeah that's it i guess